Tuesday and I have a super busy day planned in front of me. Anyway, I did not want to have to share this with you and I'm sharing it with you before the girls wake up because I don't want anybody else to know, but we have a ghost in our house. Do you think we have a ghost in our house? It's an old house, probably. <sighs> Honestly, so the whole fiasco with my first communion dress that I was gonna wear, if you didn't, you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch our Sophia's drama on her first communion video. It was just yesterday's video because, or two days ago video, because honestly, my dress went missing. I've never found it. And it, yeah, it's just crazy. This morning, I was in the bathroom getting ready and somebody knocked on the bathroom door. I was standing right by the door. Somebody knocked really loud and I opened the door and nobody was there. So I walked into the hall because I was kind of freaked out. And I looked in Kathy's room, she's sleeping. All the other doors were completely closed and there was no time for anybody to, was it you? No. Me. Yeah, okay, so that happened. And then, when I came downstairs this morning, I found this picture on the counter. Let's see if you guys can see it. Okay, so this is a picture of me and my three boys when they were little. So that little tiny guy in the middle is Nick, that's Kyle, and that's Mark. And that's when I was, I was size five back then, you guys. Look how skinny my face was. So I saw it sitting on the counter, and this is like a, a flash from the past. And I said, oh, where did you find that picture? And Sam said, it's just there. It was just there. He woke up this morning and it was just there. Is that crazy? So yeah, I'll probably put it back on the counter and then I'll come back in an hour and it'll be gone. That's what's been happening in this house. This is the first time this has ever happened in this house. So weird. I don't know. God's trying to tell me something. Either probably he's trying to tell me you need to lose weight. That's why he took the dress away. Maybe he didn't want me to wear that dress. And he showed me a picture of me when I was a size 5. That was when I was 30, 30, 29, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's when I was 30, 30, 31. I don't know. That was when I was in my 30s anyway. So yeah, I don't know. I think I need to lose weight, Sam. I think it's all a message. How come you never get messages like that? Because I don't need anything. You don't believe. You don't believe in that kind of stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so that's it. We have a ghost. And I've been getting freaked out. I want to show you Sophie's beautiful tulips. So these are Sophie's. Oh, yeah, I heard something too. You heard something too? Here. What did you hear? I can't remember if it was a car door slam or... Okay, well that has nothing to do with things disappearing. And then when I looked outside to see if it was my car door, there was nothing there. Okay. Oh, maybe somebody tried to rob us. Anyway, these are Sophie's beautiful flowers. I love how they're opening up now. But look at this one. There's one weird one, and it's beautiful. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Now it's missing. Oh, there it is. Okay, so look at this one. It's like perfectly white, and then has a green stripe. Is that weird? It's almost like the stem grew into the flower or something. It's so pretty though. I love flowers. I think you should bring me flowers every week. Alright, you just have to wait till those nice yellow flowers start popping up. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what he's talking about, he's talking about dandelions. He's going to bring me a bouquet of dandelions, but I like dandelions. My glasses have been catching this weird reflection in the camera lately. But anyway, we are in the thick of homeschool and my student has disappeared. She used to be sitting here doing her work. Her name is Gabby. If you guys have seen her, please send her back and say, it's time for school work. Anyway. I want to try something first. No, 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 no. We're not trying something first. We're doing our work. All right, so I just want to show you guys something. So this is what she's doing. She's doing, she has to find this. She has to look up this word in the dictionary if she doesn't know the a meaning of it. A bunch of boring stuff. What? A bunch of boring stuff. Yeah, a bunch of boring stuff. But if you hurry up and get done, you can do a bunch of fun stuff. Anyway, I want to show you guys my dictionary because I love this dictionary. This is not an ad. I honestly love it. This is a dictionary and thesaurus combination. It's a children's dictionary and I'll show you what I love about it. So first of all, I like that all the different letters have a different color coding. So it's color coded. So if she's looking for B, wait, so if she's looking for 
C and she's on B, then she can go to the side here and know that it's not gonna be in green. So she can skip right ahead to yellow and find the C. I also love that it's completely illustrated. So some of the words that she finds, it gives her the word, the definition, and then it gives her a picture, and it also gives her more information. So we just looked up the word hair, like a bunny, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find it. There's H. H. It's right here. Yeah, so it's right here. So then when we came down and we found the word hair, mm -hmm. It has the definition and then it had a picture and it says hairs boxing and then it gives more information up here and it says hairs often box together before they mate. So now Gabby knows, wow, she knows the mating ritual of rabbits. So she was originally just looking up words, but now she knows what it looks like when rabbits mate. Isn't that super important? No, <laughs> not really. But anyway, literally kids can get lost in this. So here's a track. So, a combine harvester. So if a kid was into that, they'd be able to look at all the, it's all completely labeled, they'd be able to look at all the different parts of the har or combine harvester, and they would, if they were into it, they were, would remember that. I like the smell of the pages. You like the, <laughs> Gabby likes the smell of the pages. Kind of. Yeah, so just so you guys know, I'm teaching them all the right stuff, all the most important stuff, like yesterday, what were they doing? Oh yeah, rolling pencils up and down their nose. And today, Gabby is sniffing books. <laughs> <laughs> sniffing books. Yeah. As long as we know what's important at homeschool, it's all good, right? And guys, I'm sniffing books too. Sophie's over here reading. What are you reading? She was reading a snake book a minute ago. Now yeah, you're he, reading I Icarus, the boy. Who flew too hot, flew so too he hot. dies. Does he die? Yeah. I read this book before. Yeah, she likes her favorites. Every time I bring out the camera, the kids are like, "Yes, vlog me, vlog me, so I can go not have to." End it. Yeah, so I don't have to do any more work. No, back to work. I need a whip. I need a whip so I can wield my whip and get you back to work. Back to work. You've got to be kidding me. It is starting to rain. We have not even been outside to play yet today, and we were so excited because the sun was out. Yep, it's raining. It's totally raining. Ah, oh, man, we missed our chance to get out. What is that? Look at it. All the food that we feed to the squirrels, they brought us a present. Isn't that cute? Aw, oh, cute little bracelet. I'm guessing it actually belongs to one of the girls. Anyway, I just shot two videos, you guys. It is awesome when I can shoot a bunch of videos and get them off my list. But yeah, I just shot them. And one is Sophia's story and the next one is Sophia's story part two because there's a part two to Sophia's story because some of you guys probably don't know but Sophia had a really rough start in life and she was really sick and she was really sick for a long time and then she got better and she got fixed and it's all about how she got fixed and how she got healthy and how she overcame it and yeah I maybe even teared up a little while I was making it because um it's hard to go through something like that and then still not be emotionally affected by it even years later. So the girls are having their one hour of screen time and this is their recess. It's raining out. Oh. And the dogs are sitting here just relaxing well, with them. It's not a thunderstorm. Yeah. This is my favorite baby in the whole world. Yeah. All right. Literally, I'm about to lose my mind. I made a video just a couple of days ago with my niece on Sunday with my niece. Um, we did the controversial parenting take and it looked funny and I could not figure out what was wrong with it. I kept feeling like there was a glare on my glasses and it wasn't that. So I made two videos today and both of them have the same problem. They're not focusing right. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what is it? So I picked up the camera and our settings got all mixed up and it was not tracking us. So it keeps going in and out of focus and I did two whole videos and it took me forever and it was such a big production and now they're not awesome and it drives me crazy because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get all that time back to remake them. So I'm just gonna try and post them and pray that they turn out okay. But I fixed the camera and now it's better and I just feel frustrated. What happens is that all the, the 
button to push record is on the back and I try and always do it with my finger and what ends up happening is that I end up changing the settings by mistake and yeah, so probably at least for a week our camera's been off, the settings been off. Hi. Hi guys, um, I ordered a horse trailer but it's not coming till a couple of weeks so um, I guess we're just making like um, a fake horse trailer and pretending that we have a car and Sophia, she's carrying all this, all these goods, <laughs> and paper to put a hot glue gun on, um, popsicle sticks, um, hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, and po more popsicle sticks and poles that we're gonna make. So, yep, put it all down. So that's what we're gonna make. I'll show you guys when we're almost like very far from. Getting it done. Whoa, what is happening here? What are you guys doing? What is happening? What are you making? Um, a horse trailer. Oh, you're making a horse trailer? I like doing like. Do you think, did you measure your horse? Oh, I see you got some horses over there. Yep. Yeah, I don't even know why I asked that because you're super smart and you know what you're doing. The white. No, I don't. I'm just. You're just. Doing it as you, you're, you're just figuring Guys. it out as you go? Uh -huh. The white one is mine and his name is Starboy. Hey you guys, crazy things. So I'm editing my video. I'm just editing the first one, which is Sophia's story. Sophia, I made a video about your story about how you came to be with us. Exciting. Are you excited about that? Yeah, cool. I'm, but I'm not gonna watch it. It's gonna be boring. <laughs> Yeah, out of the mouth of babes. This, these kind of videos are not interesting for her, that's for sure. But when you're grown up, you will like it. No, I would never like it. You cut off my head. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I made that Sophia's video, and I'm finding lately that I'm really been, I've really been bitten. <laughs> I've really been bitten. So many noises, all these animals walking around, <laughs> making weird noises. Anyway, I've been bitten by the editing bug. So uh, usually what happens is that Oh, my. Usually what happens is that Sam edits it and then I cut out all the bits that he left in that I don't want in there and then uh, he does all the final touches. Uh, but lately I've been learning to put music in. So have you guys noticed that there's been more music in our vlogs? And also... Yeah, like the sad goat gone day. Yeah, like when the, when the goat went and I was so heartbroken. I found a sad song to put in there. That was all me. And also I learned the other day how to put words inside your yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, I have to get him to teach me to do it. So I've been doing that. So that's been really useful. And I learned one other thing. What was it? music and well anyway I have been learning all this stuff and I'm finding that I'm really into it and I really am enjoying it so I am loving editing these vlogs. Ew. No it's what? my beauty. Your beauty? Yeah my cutie. Kelly and I walked down to the store freezing cold out. I got bare legs, bare feet. I almost froze to death and on the bad side I forgot my phone at home so I can't even phone Sam and say come and get us. She's going to get the uh, candy. Can we get these instead? Yeah. Will Can Sophie we like those? Them? Will Sophie like yes. those? Okay. Now we need glue. Find me glue. Yeah. So we came down to get some more craft stuff. Oh that's good. That's uh, it? It's terrible glue. How do you know it's terrible? I used it once. All right, we'll grab that. I like to make slime. Doesn't mix with borax. Doesn't mix with borax. As oh, long as it sticks, I'm good with it. Hi guys, we're just playing with Schleich. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your wagon. Trailer. Trailer. And um. Piece of box. We're just. Is it a box? We're just pretending that it has a car and it's like a trailer <laughs> until we. Get my trailer that's in there. Yeah, then I will have that one. So you spent all afternoon making this thing. Yeah. What does it look so. like? Let's see. It's just like a Wow, you did all that popsicle sticks? Big glue. Yeah, it oh. took forever. It looks like it took forever. Took up all my glue. Took up all my popsicle mm -hmm. sticks. Where's the tires? One. It's a We're fatal flaw. You're gonna drag it like a sled? Kinda. Alright, let me see it again. 
find these things. All right, so this is the horse trail, uh, horse trailer. This is and the back where the horses enter. It's an invisible exit. truck in front of it. And, and invisible wheels. How does it open? Invisible. Open the gate. Is it open? You can take these out. And you oh, it's like a door. Cool. Yeah, but those not a divider. Uh, yeah, because our horses get along. The horses get along? Uh-huh. And, yeah. They're just trained really good. Anyways, that's it for tonight. So, I'm going to end tonight's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.